our black hole, how big is it compared to other black holes that we know so exist? It's, it's, a, it's a smallish one. You know, we, and what's the, it's what's not the smallish. scale? It's, it's, a, it's a supermassive black hole. <laughs> but we think that I would say all galaxies, maybe the, there's an exception or so, but pretty much all galaxies have supermassive black holes at their centres. We don't quite know why, actually. We, we don't quite know how galaxies form in the early universe. It's one of the uh, things that the JWST, the James Webb, is, is, is looking at in some detail, the, the, the new space telescope. But um, to good approximation, all galaxies have these things. Um, and they can be different masses. So as I said, the, the M87 galaxy has one that's uh, six billion times the mass rather than six million times the mass. So, um, but how big is it? So the number I always remember in my mind is the Schwarzschild radius of the sun, mm -hmm. which is, as we mentioned, it's the, the radius you'd have to squash the sun down to make a black hole. And it's three kilometers. Um, so it goes like the mass, so you can work it out. So if, it's six, if that's six million times the mass of the sun, then the Schwarzschild radius is six million times three kilometers. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of easy to do the math, actually. So that would be the... the um, you might call it, you have to be careful with your language, but let's let's say that this thing is, it gives you an idea of the size of this structure. Um, so the, the, the disc is outside it, is much bigger. 